Hello everyone, I'm Storm Tracker 18 meteorologist Austin Haskins. Multiple waves of rain and thunderstorms are expected throughout the week, and especially early this week, we're focusing on the potential for some very heavy rainfall and even some severe weather as well, including already some severe weather this morning across parts of western Wisconsin and our southern and western counties, and then eventually moving to the north and east. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in place until 10 a.m. This is all along this cold front that's moving through and stalling out eventually, essentially, and then this warm front's going to move through later on tonight and tomorrow and that'll set the stage uh, for more heat and humidity to build in and another threat for severe weather and heavy rain uh, tomorrow as well. So that main wave of storms moving through right now that should be out of here by about midday or so around 11 or noon and then the forecast in the afternoon is going to get a little bit tricky because some models show more storms developing others are showing us staying pretty quiet including this one right here the consensus though overnight is we're going to be quiet no matter what we may have a little sun to start tomorrow and then showers and storms are expected to develop tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening as the main cold front moves through and then we'll maybe see a few showers lingering into a part of Wednesday, though, I think by Wednesday afternoon will be a little bit quieter before shower chances start to return a little bit into Wednesday night. So another look at future cast shows one round of storms will be through and then this uh, potentially more into the late morning, early afternoon and just continued periods of showers and storms throughout the afternoon and early evening hours. The key is really what happens with this wave that's moving through right now. How worked over is the atmosphere going to be and if we can clear things out because that will also play a role in temperatures too. If we clear out, we could very well see highs in the 80s today, but if the clouds stick around and the rain and storm chances stick around, we'll likely stay down in the 70s. So we'll have to kind of watch that. But again, we clear out tonight. We're quiet tomorrow morning and then more showers and storms develop tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And again, we have a threat for severe weather. We maintain a level two out of five risk for severe storms in place for today, though this will update later this morning. So we'll have to see if maybe they'll maintain a level two risk or if they'll maybe decrease it after the morning round of storms moves out. We have a level two risk in place for tomorrow, which I'll show you here coming up. The hazards this morning will be winds up to 70 miles per hour, hail up to ping pong ball size, and a very low risk of maybe a tornado spinning up. But so far this morning with those storms, they have been mostly a damaging wind threat. Now tomorrow's risk, a level two out of five for the areas in yellow from Ladysmith to Duran Northwest. A level one risk basically encompasses the rest of the area with the exception of far eastern Jackson County. Same thing tomorrow, hail up to golf ball size, winds up to 70 miles per hour, and again, a very low risk of an isolated tornado or two. Again, we'll keep you updated as newer data comes in. But as I mentioned earlier, we're not done with the rain and storm chances. In fact, we basically have daily chances in the forecast all the way through Saturday. Sunday looks like, as of right now, maybe our only dry day of the next seven. But of course, that's still several days away. And we are looking at potentially through Saturday night, another one to three inches of rain on top of what's fallen already. The higher end totals, depending on where the heavier rain and the storms train over, we could see spots five, six inches of rain potentially on the very high end. That is not out of the question. And we have flood watches in place for parts of the area through Wednesday morning. And also not to mention too, rivers, creeks, and streams are going to be on the rise. So something that we're going to be watching, a lot of weather going on this week. So I encourage you to stay with us for updates. So I have our high today at 81, but again, that's dependent on the cloud coverage and the rain and storm coverage. 90 for tomorrow, and it's going to be humid this entire week too, regardless of temperature. So heat index values tomorrow in the mid 90s. Then we'll level off upper 70s to low 80s after that with again, daily chances for showers and thunderstorms.